Mormons of Reddit Why do most of you have trampolines? Ex-Mormon here. A lot of Mormons have large families. And trampolines are a source of entertainment and activity. They can't drink wank or watch violent television. What else is there to do? Have lots of unprotected sex, after marriage of course. Holy shit every Mormon I've ever known has had a trampoline. Exactly. There's a heavy emphasis on family unity, and it's a nice way to have some good family fun. Nothing says brotherly love like a broken ankle from a mistimed super bounce. There was a recent TIFU from a dad who failed a super bounce. Your comment reminded me of it. Makes sense. Okay. Not Mormon but trampolines are fucking dope. It is my true belief that every kid deserves to grow up with access to a trampoline. Exmo here. It's just a good way for them to have family time since they can't do anything fun. Trying to get to heaven? Oh no, my cover's been blown. The real question is why do Mormons require their churches to have basketball courts? And a lot are in the basement. Ex-Mormon here. It's because basketball is a great bonding exercise. It's perfect for a church setting because it's non-violent. Doesn't require much equipment. And encourages teamwork. Pro tip never challenge a Mormon missionary to basketball. By the time they go on mission they've played thousands of hours of it. You will get styled on lol. We have Wednesday night actives for the youth and they are sometimes used. Not currently cause the virus. The room is more often used than the basketball hoops. It's not a trampoline. It's a bouncy pathway that leads to the sanctuary in Salt Lake City. When the bell tolls and the demon hordes are closing in, they just bounce their way there. Forgive me I thought it said morons for a sec. Same thing. Grew up Mormon and can confirm large trampolines are popular. My cousins and my siblings would always camp out on the trampoline when we visited them in Utah. Never make the relationship connection but it's funny to think about now. We would also go to the bishop's house and spend lots of time on their trampoline. His wife would make us homemade tacos and we would eat them on a picnic table next to the trampoline. Mormons are good folks. You had me at homemade tacos. I never realized this, I must study the monsieur, there's a lot of em around here so. Now be careful. You don't want to disturb their native habitat or you'll alter the outcome of the observation. Mormons themselves are pretty relaxed. But the bicycles they have wrangled spook easily at the first sign of danger. Good good taking notes. Do you know anything of their 15 passenger vans that seem to show up on Walmart parking lots? That's not my field of expertise. But I know one biologist who I worked with at Stanford who thinks Mormons participate in communal hunting rituals, in that Walmart is their ceremonial game lands. It stands to reason then that the vans may be viewed as minor deity or land spirits. Of course I take the literalist approach. The van is obviously just the bicycle at an advanced age. Similar extreme morphological changes are not unprecedented in the animal kingdom as your various ceratopsians used to be classified as individual species who, in actuality were just older members of established species who'd undergone significant late life skeletal growth. More research is needed, in any case and I suggest you attempt to pick up a specimen of the van's droppings once the hunting party has disappeared into the bush, at least past aisle 4. See if you cannot document something about its mating habits. I have seen them dressed in their traditional blue jean skirt hunting clothes. Seem to always collect a bountiful supply of yarns and materials. Thank you for imparting your knowledge, O oh giver of wisdom. It's for my 36 and a half kids that all have a rhyming name, of course. Of course. It's the single most exciting thing they can do according to their religion. Shame they don't spend more time jumping on it rather than knocking on my door trying to push their bullshit religion. Helps them get closer to God. Trying to escape earth and get to heaven. Life's gotta be boring since you can't even have caffeine. I didn't. My mom blew her knee out on one when she was a teenager. So no trampolines.
We were also moving all over the world. Dad was army, so it was probably easier to just not have one. It has always been thus. It makes us more attractive to potential mates. Similar to titles and plots of land. Trampolines get you closer to heaven. The only three trampolines in my neighborhood, two by the same family, were owned by Mormon families. I never made the connection until now. Asterisk, fuck, asterisk. Same goes for swimming pools and Jehovah Witnesses. They have so many children that buying a trampoline is an effective method of herding out the weak. Once. Crap, am I supposed to have a trampoline? I didn't get the memo. I'll be right back. They are great outdoor entertainment. It was always the other Mormon families that had the monsieur never knew why myself. All I ever did was nearly break my neck. They pray by bouncing. I've got a big trampoline. Does this mean now I'm a Mormon now? Oh yeah, you're in it for the long run now. I read it as morons. My family didn't. Most of my friends, also mostly Mormons, didn't. They were only slightly more common than a pool in the backyard. I cannot explain your source of this stereotype as it does not apply. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.